Hi guys Mr. New Mobile here. The Apple iPhone 12, the focus in town, is supposedly coming with the new camera lens. So will iPhone 12 weeks are little like two on the ground this week. We do have a bit of information from use of the new camera lens in the iPhone 12 use of display production and that some models are further ahead than others. We have news that the iPhone 12 could to come with a feature the iPhone 13 won't even have before we get started though. Please like the video. If you're looking forward to this launch. Let me know in the comments. What phone you what you know now, and if you plan to make an upgrade or not to the first years of the day, is about the iPhone 12 display, and it's good or bad, depending on what phone you're after Will Show treated a couple of days ago, to say that the iPhone 12 panel production is a month ahead of the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and that the 5.4 inch iPhone 12 has a healthy eating volume early on. He also provided another tweet saying that the iPhone 12 is a month ahead of the iPhone 12 Pro, as well to this sort of cooperate the other stories we've been hearing all the iPhone 12 to be launching in September as planned, it's likely that the iPhone is subject of displays. I had a lot of comments asking about 120Hz promotion on the Apple iPhone 12. Everyone is saying that it's no longer happening. But as I said in my previous video, it looks like it may do someone has provided me with minor tips in the past, they've turned out to be correct, and he said that both the iPhone 12 Pro and the 12 Pro Max will have high refresh rates in the smaller counterparts, and I suppose it is could even be part of the reason why that further ahead, and planning to release the smaller models first. We've also had news from debut times in the states or the iPhone 12 second have support for millimeter wave and sub 60 Hz 5G bands. It was previously thought that only the two more premium models would be having both, but debut times and stated that Apple 2020 series of iPhone to work on both sub 6G HZ and millimeter wave 5G networks, and the vendor is considering introducing its iPhone supporting either millimeter wave. 6G HC for specific markets next year, and this is according to industry sources in Taiwan to surprising use it that we may be getting both on all of the iPhone 12, this may not be the excitement. Now the news comes up from Minty Quote, who is a very reliable analyst provides us with so many leaks early on. He stated he predicts that Sam Care what the best Korean land supplier and Sunny Optical, with the best Chinese length supplier, will enter the Apple and supply chain in the second half of 2020 and 2021, respectively. Now Michiko has also stated that he believes them can be providing a larger percentage of new periscope telephoto lenses for Apple in 2021 or 2022. I will have been filing patent for periscope lenses since 2016, and it's something we see in many other smartphones across the board. Given their success in other devices. I can imagine it can be a welcome addition to the iPhone, but confirm it's not something we're getting on the iPhone 12 for something it that will be in future models, and unfortunately that's it for the new information today. As I did say we are a little bit light on the ground when it comes to leaks with four models launching on the second week of September. It's not long until applicant confirm things themselves. We've already had the full specs and the design the latest rumors about its release date, design, new features, tech specs and price, and clear up some of the gossip and speculation. We now have a pretty good idea of what to expect. The design squared off corners, larger screen, reconfigured camera array has been leaked, and the full specs list revealed. We have the prices of every model, which may see a bump this year. You can see what they look like, too, thanks to photos comparing it to older models. The latest rumor is that, controversially, Apple isn't going to bundle any headphones or a charger with the iPhone 12. That's going to make a few people quite annoyed. When will the new iPhone come out? The next batch of iPhones will be announced in autumn 2020, that's been the case every year since 2011, but it may not be in Apple's traditional September slot. Reports suggest that production of the affect the shipping date, which we've seen before, with the iPhone X in 2017, or if it will actually, an un- iPhone 12 is a 5.4-inch iPhone with an outlet to progress in the display from Samsung is important to note straight off the bat, this to progress no means absolutely nothing. So don't get too caught up on that, but nonetheless it can be an only display with a resolution of 2348x1080. This gives us a 475 pixels per inch, and it's got an 8-bit color depth for the have been rumors of models having a 120 it displays. Unfortunately, it appears that that this model is only can be 60 Hz is to be equipped with 4 gigs of RAM, and it can come with a choice of 128 or 256 storage. 
Armenian frame and of course is the Apple A14 Bionic chip with 5G, support the iPhone 12 is coming with Yo cameras on the Ray, and it will of course be shipping with iOS 14 for this wonderful gig of RAM, with 128 storage, is launching a price of $649, if you want to upgrade it to the 256 gig iPhone 12, and it's 750 next up with the iPhone 12 Max to be clear, this is the Max, and not the Pro Max the iPhone 12 Max has a 6.1 inch outlet, we believe it's now could be manufactured by either Samsung or LG's bow, it did not pass the quality assurance tests. It comes with a resolution of 2532x1170. This gives us a 460 pixels per inch and again. It has an 8-bit color depth we get 4 gigs of RAM choice of 128 or 256 storage, and of course, the iPhone 12 Max is powered by the 814 Bionic chip. Armenian frame 5G connectivity uses a dual camera setup on the ramp for those that want the 128GB iPhone 12 Max to be launching at a price of $749 for those that want the 2560 version, that in the price rises into $849. Next up with the iPhone 12 Pro, the iPhone 12 Pro also has a 6.1 inch display is actually the same size as the iPhone 12 Max, we do have an improved display and specs the iPhone 12 Pro, with what 61 inch Super Retina only display with promotion, and 10 bit color depth display is manufactured by Samsung, and has a resolution of 2532x1170, giving full of this 120Hz promotion display, but still open unconfirmed, and there are few people saying this may not happen. The iPhone 12 Pro comes with 6 gigs of RAM. The choice of 128, 256 or even 512 gig storage. It of course ships with the Apple 814 Bionic chipset the iPhone 12 Pro it's 5G compatible. It comes in a stainless steel frame, and on the rear we get a triple camera setup, along with the light sense of adapters for the 128 gig iPhone 12 Pro. It can be $999 for the 256, it's 1099. The 512 gig iPhone 12 Pro is can be $1,299. Last but not least we have the iPhone 12 Pro Max. The iPhone 12 Pro Max comes with a 6.7 inch only display again. This is Super Retina display, and hopefully with promotion, get a 10-bit color that and of course it is manufactured by Samsung to the resolution of 2778x1284. This gives us a 458 pixels per inch again that we expect and hope it's can be saying otherwise it comes with 6 gigs of RAM, and 128, 256 and 512 internal storage has got a stainless steel frame, and the iPhone 12 Pro Max is of course powered by the 814 Bionic chipset. This does have 5G support just like the iPhone 12 Pro we get 3 cameras in the ray, along with the light sensor, for those who want the 128GB iPhone 12 Pro Max is going to launch at a price of $1099 U of the 250. 60 version. It's $1199 for those that want the most expensive in the range of 512 iPhone 12 Pro Maxes can be launching at a whopping $1399 note is of course important to note that these pricing leaks came very early on from John Prosser is provided plenty of accurate leaks, but also got some of them on recently. He also provided this very early on. So there is a chance that things could change, but personally I think they're at least going to be very close to what we see overall. The Apple iPhone 12 is proving to be a great range of iPhones that many of you guys looking forward to. It's great that we've got all of this info. Certainty is it's nice to have some surprises that launch. Well, there may be delays in the release date launch is expected to be on time. And that will of course be 8 September this year. Given the current outbreak, it's likely that it's again going to be an online only launch event, similar to the last worldwide developer conference as ostentatively pushed back the date of the announcement. Broadcom for one has hinted that the launch will be pushed back from the third to the fourth quarter of the year. But that's not the worst of it. Sources familiar with the company report that Apple has been considering a delay of several months, which could easily push the iPhone 12's release back into 2021. The cause, as with so many delays and cancellations at the moment, is COVID-19. It played havoc with Apple's Asian supply chain in the early days of the outbreak, and the company's headquarters are now located in one of the more severely affected areas of the US. Its local public health body implemented a mandatory order against public gatherings as early as the start of March. Apple was expected to decide on its final launch timeframe by the end of May, but internal sources have yet to leak the decision. At present it seems most likely that the delay will be in the region of one to two months, but there's still time to pull it back. Design changes we're starting to get a good if any, more information comes to light. 
I'll be sharing with you guys straight away, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments was excited for the iPhone 12 launch, and do you think we will get these 120Hz displays? Please subscribe, like the video, comment thanks for watching see you on my next video one.